We welcome in Steve Gully, the head cross country coach at the University of Tulsa. The Golden Hurricane winning the American Athletic Conference championships, both on the men's and the women's side. Coach, first of all, congratulations. Great job by both of your teams. Yes, it's, uh, it makes it so much easier because you're not dealing with a team that's upset. It's, it didn't get the goal that they wanted. So uh, having both won it, it made it an easy trip back home. So often we talk about your sixth ranked men's team. Let's start with the ladies. How <laughs> proud were you that you competed so well and you had uh, what, f all five, five in the top 10, right? Very proud. So they, they ran a great race, uh, very proud of the ladies. And what people don't understand is you, you give instructions to kids. Doesn't mean it happens, especially right. in a stressful or, or critical conditions. They ran a great race. So I couldn't have been happier that they went in there, they worked hard, they've been running great for the last month, and we, we hope it continues, actually. Yeah, we really do. And then on the guys, yes, I mean, they went in there, they stayed focused. I think it was good that Temple went and won the Penn State meet. So it kept them focused. They didn't think this was gonna be an easy job. And there was other teams they were looking at, and I think they went in there and executed their race plan and kept everything under control and did a great job too. Well, I thought the most classic picture was the picture that we saw that had uh, Beatty, Akers, Lynch, Dever, <laughs> and field, all in a group. Right. You talk about team aspect, all in a group, finishing second through sixth, which obviously, you know, you knew you were in great shape at that point. You, you know, you'd had it pretty much clinched at that point, but what a great picture. Absolutely, even within a second. So there wasn't a little bit of, we need to beat our teammates. They worked together, they stayed together, and they were fortunate enough to be able to pull that off because you're always worried somebody else is gonna run good. But they did, they packed, raced, uh, they got in there, stayed together didn't let their egos go, gave the spot, to, uh, number one spot to the Cincinnati young man. He's a good runner and just said, hey, let's keep the team in here. Let's work together. And they, those five never left each other. That's not an e easy thing to teach, is it? Team no. aspect in a very individual sport. It's not because we have some really, we have some good runners, we believe, in the front. But I think, you know, the, our fifth guy, we, we thought maybe could be the fifth guy, is Cameron, Cameron Fields. Cameron has improved probably the most dramatic because we thought coming into the season we had four good runners, but Cameron has changed the aspect of the team. He's shown he's a very good fifth runner. Uh, and we still have our, our normal fifth runner, which is uh, back there in the sixth hole. So, you know, those guys are important too, but uh, I think that's been a blessing that Cameron's been able to step up and, and kind of work, work within that five. Yeah, yeah and, and I mean, even if you go down the list, Adam Bro, number 15, right. Reed uh, Salahad, I don't even know how to pronounce <laughs> his last name, but Reed finished 16. So, I mean, you've got real good depth with all of your runners right? more than I, more than you think because what happens is people lose attention when things maybe don't go their way and and bro's been up there before and he he is a he's been our fifth guy he's been our clutch we always call him mr clutch conference time he runs very well so it was nice so maybe he could relax a little bit somebody else could take care of a little bit of the responsibility so only five count right absolutely so well for, five but the, the two but, back displace a little bit so that, that was they'd still take points away from everybody, that sixth and seventh kid. Yeah, I was gonna say, when you mentioned displace, that's a, it's a kind of a strategic term, but if yeah. you're finishing 15, 16, that means that somebody else that is scoring points for another team has moved backward, right? Absolutely, so that was a big key on the girls. We thought we needed to put, not only that we're scoring five, but we needed that sixth and seventh person to overload. And, we, and at the time we were probably looking at Wichita and that we needed to be up there and put pressure on them in which they executed. So we were able to put six up there in the top 12, which took a lot of pressure off us. Yeah, Katarina Presendorfer yes. ended up 12th, and so right. she displaced somebody else. But Absolutely. certainly your, your top five did, led by Caitlin Klopp first. Yep. I mean, they really did a nice job. She they? did a great race. She was in second most of the race. Uh, give credit to the Wichita State young lady. They ended up uh, catching her. She's very good. So uh, I think they, they did a good job. But what was more important is that they executed the game plan under stressful conditions. I thought that was amazing. And you mentioned, of course, the ladies had mentioned to you earlier in the year. It's like, you know what? You know, we've been around here three years and we haven't yet won, you know, a couple of the young ladies that hadn't had a championship and now they can celebrate a championship. Absolutely. There was five girls there that came in the same class and that meant the world to them. And, and I think that was a key to them. If you see them at the footage of the conference meet, uh, meet they filmed it, they seemed pretty excited at the end. And I don't know if it was excitement or it was relief that they got their job done. Okay, so now it's regionals. Uh, tell us about that. It's going to be in Stillwater, so you don't have to travel very far, but no. the regionals is what leads to the nationals, yes, so it's you've important. Got, you've got to finish in the top two. I think they're both looking at those goals. 
uh, top two go to nationals. It's easier, yes. We're familiar a little bit with the Oklahoma State course, but they've redone it. They spent a lot of money, so we're looking forward to that. But uh, yes, for the travel and time, we get to relax a little bit more here. We think it's it's great, and the plus is the NCAA championships next year will be at the Oklahoma State course. This may give us a chance to see the course a little bit more than some other people would. All right, Coach, congratulations on championships, S, at yeah. the end, two of them, <laughs> the American. Uh, great job and good luck in the regionals. Appreciate it. Steve Gully joining us here in the Eye of the Hurricane.